The millisecond transmon qubit breakthrough out of Princeton. This was in nature for a new qubit. The qubit being like the fundamental unit. Bit in a classical computer. Exactly. Qubit in a quantum computer. So quantum computers, right? The promise is to break encryption, simulate materials. All of that relies on actually making a quantum computer, right? And making a quantum computer as of now, it's still a hardware problem. Okay. 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 It is still a hardware problem. At the end of the day, how a quantum algorithm works is the following. You've got a bunch of qubits that you're going to prepare in some kind of state. Let's just say for argument's sake, I'm going to prepare them in the zero state. Okay. So they're all zero. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply quantum gates to these guys. Okay. And what that means is I'm going to poke this qubit a one way. So it's going to maybe flip from a zero to a one, or it's going to flip into halfway between zero and a one. And then this guy's going to talk to its neighbor. Who's going to talk to his neighbor. And all of these quantum gates are basically pokes in some way mm -hmm. of each of the bits that I have. Mm -hmm. the, the key bottleneck is the following. Okay. My gates and my poking have to be faster than how long it takes for my qubit to forget itself. In a transistor, if I turn it off, it's going to stay off. It's off. In quantum mechanics, that's no longer the case because these qubits are made out of incredibly small technologies. Okay? And so there's a lot of forgetting that happens. The, the point is, you don't actually have like a workspace that is active for long enough for you to do like, yeah, like valuable computation yeah. to get an output because the decoherence time is so short. And there's ways to do this to get around it. There's stuff called error correction, where what you do is you like replicate the qubit multiple times, and then you have like a bunch of qubits retain that information. So if one of them forgets, you can have like the other guy. But like at the end of the day, a hardware like solution is is king. It's not it's not clean. It's if not you have a hardware solution, right. well then you can implement that software solution Correct. with the hardware solution exactly. and even multiply Correct. beyond right? yes. beyond like what you were yes. So the hardware is always king. The king the biggest fundamental li limit is still at the hardware it's level. It's still at the hardware level. Exactly. This qubit is amazing. It's got the best one, the best one yes. had 1.7 milliseconds that's crazy and to tell you just how how big this is you know before you were getting to 0.3 yes the best one is now five times yeah, right right and that 0.3 was in a lab setting you, you might be thinking you know a millisecond that's a thousandth of a second a thousandth of a second is not very long well the gates right the 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 stuff that we're using for quantum stuff yes is on the order of tens of nanoseconds this right is, this so is you can fit in a lot more stuff stuff in one millisecond now. A the, nanosecond is um, a hundred thousandth of, of a millisecond. A, millisecond. The, the, a millionth, sorry, yeah.